heart's desire you could have. Amen. That's good information, ain't it, Brother Tim? Amen. And I said, son, if you need me, call me. I'll help you any way I can. You say, preacher, what are you talking about? Well, if hell and destruction is uh, how much more than are the hearts of the children's hearts? How's your heart this morning? Does this still hold that old grudge in it? Come on now. Amen. Does your heart still hold that old hatred in it? Does that old heart still hold uh, uh, things against people that's maybe dead and gone and you still, I don't like this and I don't like that and I wish this and that and that. Let me tell you something. If I read the Bible right, when you got saved and born again the Spirit of God, old things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. I, I done my hand like that, and I happen to think about my great grand young that should be two years old this, this month. And she come in and sang a song. And it's just cute as a button. She'd come in and pop out. I said, What? She got a song that I sang it. She said, Well, the driver of the bus said, Move on back. Move on back. Took that little thumb, move on back. You know what we need to do today? Tell the devil, move on back. Amen. I'm talking about telling him. But what the Bible said, Jesus told him over, get behind me, Satan. What did he say last? He was on the mountain and he said, you be the son of God. He said, listen, devil, you get away from me. Man not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. So now listen to what he said here in verse uh, 12. A scorner loveth not one that reprove him, neither will he go into the wife. We should never go to nobody and try to discourage them or turn them down. We should never say anything. Like my wife was talking the other night in this about this car. She said, now don't you do that because you're a Christian. Well, I didn't do nothing bad. I just, I just drove on up the road. And a lot of times I wouldn't have just drove on up the road. Well, I'm a preacher, you're a preacher. Yeah, you're a Christian, ain't you? You don't never have nobody to bug you, nobody to, oh, 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 I ain't going to ask you to raise your hand, because some of you might and some may not, but I'm going to tell you right now, there ain't nobody I believe in here can't say they ain't being agitated you sometimes. But that's where, Brother Arnold, God tries their faith to see where we, really what we're going to do. Amen. I'm glad I'm saved. I was talking about the other day, and you're in church about that little pistol looking thing we've got just a knife back there and what the Lord ain't never let me put it on the side to carry. So I don't need nothing but this sword. Amen. The sword of the Lord. Amen. What I'm trying to say is, church, if we gonna live for God, we ought to put off the old man. Put off the old coat and put on the new coat. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about, I got that song with anybody singing. I can't sing it. But that's the, uh, however it goes, when I took it, if anybody wants coffee, I got one to have. Can you have it? When it took off, got it from a quartet up in the mountains. It sung it. But they can sing it. When I took off the old coat and put on the new, and it, Rita's going to take somebody beside me to sing it. But it's a pretty song. So why don't we look towards heaven today and say, if I go there, he's there, and I ain't going to hell. Amen. I just ain't going down there. I'm not going. Amen. He's, uh, uh, I'm going to tell this. Well, man, we was at the River Valley. And we was going to have that program. My dream I church hell for you. Over here at Ica, there's a man that went in. He come by my table where I sat and I drove the produce truck and I, I was eating dinner. And he come by and he uh, told this other fella, he said, uh, I tell you right now, as far as I'm concerned, you can go to, you know, to the bad place. And boy, I hit my heart a uh, lick. And I laid my spoon down and I said, hey, buddy, before you leave that door, come here, man. <laughs> he come back there and I said, will you sit down, please? Who are you? I said, Reverend Aaron Michael, pastor of River Valley Baptist Church. 
And when you told that fella to go to torment back there, you really didn't mean that, did you? Because I wouldn't want my worst enemy to go there. And he got tears in his eyes. My wife, you just don't know, my wife's left me, and I'm having it hard. I said, have you ever tried God? Amen. I said, I'll be back through here Thursday, about the same time, about 1 o'clock. And you had your wife down here. We're going to have that drama Saturday night in River Valley. I dreamed I'd serve Sam with you. I'd like for you to come in to see it. He said, I'll be here. And I went in Thursday. There he said. And his wife was with him. I said, can we go out to your truck and sit? I said, sure can. Went out there and sat down. I said, the young lady, I said, I don't know what George's problem is with being separated or what's going on. But if you put Christ ahead of your family, it'll go a whole lot better. Right. Amen. And on that Saturday night, my wife will tell you, we had a packed house at River Valley and about 30 people coming to know the Lord, and they were two of them. Amen. The first two. Amen. And the last I heard from them too, they're in church over here at Ikerman. He's a deacon and she's a Sunday school teacher. Amen. So what I'm saying is we don't need to down nobody when they're already down. We need to speak peaceful, kind words to them and introduce Jesus to them. Amen. Is that good information? Amen. Amen. I'm glad that Jesus heard my prayer that day. I've seen him once in a while. He has a preacher. How in the world are you? Amen. Makes you feel good to know, Rita, that you said something like you bet your boss lady. Makes you feel good to know that she's got confidence in you. You people in here, people got confidence in you. They wouldn't send prayer requests here if they did. But we ought to thank God for a little church that can get a prayer through. And God will answer our prayer. Come on, Miss Rita. That's the message. Amen. So hell and destruction. And let me read this other verse. Verse 13. And merry heart make us a cheerful countenance. But by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. We don't want your spirit between you and God to be broken. We don't want you to have a, a weary heart. We want you to have a merry heart. Uh, amen. We want you to have a merry trip on the way to glory because we're heading that way. Amen. You know what you need to tell people like I tell my kin folks? A lot of times we start to, we used to, don't happen no more. You used to come to church time. You to come into the house right about the time we leave. And I said, well, you go to church or stay here? <coughs> You need to make up your mind who you're going to serve. Follow stand, follow the same, and follow the Lord's speech.